right? Just about to head out, gonna do some wildlife photography today. Gonna go over to the other side of the island where I'm at on Kalanta and uh, I'll be taking photos of monkeys, birds, whatever else wildlife I can find. I'll be going through some of the settings that I use for my camera and I'll show you what kind of equipment that I use. So let's go. Just the entrance. For the night. Stand here while take a little time. Since you went away. So this guy's just come around and offered to take me around on his boat for an hour for 300 baht. So I'm gonna go do that and take advantage of this great light and hopefully he can take me to where now some more. Birds, monkeys, everything. This place is absolutely amazing. Just back there, had a macaque swimming across the water, the mangroves on the other side. So I'm just sitting here on a little pier and amongst the mangroves and I'm just sitting here waiting because there is no point walking around making loads of racket and noise and scaring everything away and you're just chasing everything. You need to take the time and let the wildlife come to you. So for the equipment that I'm using, I'm using the Canon 7D Mark II. For my lens, uh, I got it all covered up in this foam thing. It looks kind of army-like but it helps protect it and Sure, it disguises a little bit, I suppose, but unless I'm disguised myself, it's not really gonna help that much. This is the Tamron 150 to 600 millimeter, and on a crop sensor, that makes for a pretty decent range for shooting wildlife. So for my settings when I shoot wildlife, I shoot an aperture priority and to be honest, I mostly shoot an aperture priority and it's like that 80-20 rule that over 80% of my images are taken in aperture priority. My f-stop then is usually as low as I can get it and I use the ISO to control my shutter speed to make sure that I have a shutter speed fast enough so that I can freeze the image um, that I'm taking. I use AI servo for my focusing so basically holding the shutter button down halfway you focus on your subject 
and the AI servo will allow it to keep focusing with if the animal whatever focusing on moves or if you follow it and track it it will keep focusing on it with the AI servo I then use burst mode so that I can take several images very fast after each other for my focusing point I start off with five focusing point in the middle emphasis is on the middle one and that usually that usually gets has me covered you know I can I can focus on something that's very small but when I focus on something even smaller or maybe something is hiding in the branches of the trees and I need to kind of get in amongst it to find the animal and then focus on it I'll just use one middle point to really sink, narrow down that animal also when I'm shooting something a bigger animal and I just want to focus on the eye I'll use that one point and I'll move it about so that I don't have to recompose my image every time white balance sunny day today shooting sunny and I don't tend to change it even though I go from shade to sunny because I, I keep forgetting so I'll just keep it at whatever seems to be the dominant situation and I will change it in post metering mode I use evaluative metering mode which if I understand this correctly the camera will evaluate from the entire frame to figure out the correct exposure but it will put particular emphasis on what you are focusing on Thank you very much for watching this wildlife photography shoot in Koh Lanta, Thailand. And uh, yeah, hopefully you got a little bit of an insight into what settings I use. Be interesting to hear what you guys use yourself. So give me a shout in the comments. Thank you very much. I think the macaque monkeys didn't want to leave without saying goodbye.